If you're in the mood for a book with a lot of mystery, like a disappearance and a death, this is gonna be the book for you. So The Truth Is Told by Mason Buttle, one of my favorite books I read this year. Uh, it's about um, a kid named Mason. Mason is admittedly, self-admittedly, the biggest, sweatiest kid in eighth grade. He actually has a disorder that causes him to just sweat profusely, so much that he brings two t-shirts to school every day. Um, he's not a smelly kid, he just sweats a lot. Um, he also has learning disabilities, so he has a lot of issues reading and writing. Um, but the real issue going on is that a year and a half ago, his best friend Benny was found dead. And the thing is, is that Mason was the last one to see him alive and the first one who found him um, at the bottom of their treehouse on the ground dead. And so the town and the investigator really suspect that Mason had something to do with this, with this murder. And the investigator stops by often to his house to ask him questions. And Mason doesn't really get it. Um, and so the cop keeps asking him to write down his story, but because he has these difficulties, this isn't the easiest thing for him to do. So um, at school, a teacher introduces him to this software program called the Dragon, where he can like talk into it and it writes out so he starts telling the story of what happened that day that Benny died. Um, same time, a new kid starts, um, Colvin, and he and uh, Mason become friends. The two, these two kids become targets of the bullies that Benny and Mason were um, targets of to begin with. And then Colvin goes missing. And so the cop, the town, Benny's dads, really suspect Mason of foul play and you have to read it to find out what happens and nothing happens bad with the dog so it's all good. Okay, that's good to know, but now I'm very concerned about Mason and You should be. That oh, okay.